Hello, my name is Matt with Photobooth Resource Co. and I'm going to be talking about gaffer tape versus cord covers to use with your photo booth. So gaffer tape historically was used with uh, like production studios or uh, any kind of camera setup where you have to cover a lot of cords and keep everything safe. Cord covers, this is just a cord cover that you'd use um, in like your desk or your office or somewhere where you need to um, keep something covered up and keep from tripping over and keep it safe. You can buy gaffer tape at most of your photography stores. We get both of these off Amazon and I'll provide links for that. And gaffer tape again is used anytime you need to cover up cords and the cord cover be used for the same thing. The only difference with the gaffer tape being that it's sticky and you can stick it to walls, you can stick it upside down, you can probably fit more cords into it. Um, this is actually a, I believe a two or one and a half or two inch version. I would prefer the three inch just because for the more, the, the, it gives you more clearance over a thicker cord um, and it's gonna stick better. Cord's real thick, then by the time that tape makes it over, it doesn't have as much contact with the ground. Gaffer tape is not waterproof, but it is water resistant. So if you have people spilling your drink, drinks on your cords, it can protect it from that somewhat. Uh, hopefully that is not going to affect your cord to begin with, but it is somewhat water resistant. Gaffer tape is not supposed to leave a residue. Uh, duct tape will. Don't ever use duct tape, it's not the same thing. If you use duct tape on concrete or sealed floors, it will pull that covering up and that can be very, very expensive and make venue owners very mad at you as a vendor. Uh, you'll probably not be invited back if you cause them to have to redo their floor. So it'll stick to most floor types. Uh, the only one that I would say it does not stick to would be a carpet. Um, that is when I would go with the cord cover for sure over gaffer tape. So it really does stick to most things, obviously not grass or outdoor settings. The way that I generally use gaffer tape is I will just take one piece of it and I will um, put my foot or something heavy to hold the cord tight. I'll pull it tight and I'll start on one end and I'll run it down, move my, move my heavy piece of my foot here and then just keep running my way down in a straight shot to wherever I need to go. The, the, way, the way to use these cord covers is the bottom of them is split see if I can get a good shot here and so you just take it like that and it pops open and you stick your cord in there and then when you flip it over it's covered up and protected and that kind of limits the size of cord you can put in there or how many cords but for the most part it works really well the exception would be if you have some sort of uh, connection like a, a inverter box where you where you plug the outlet straight into it that won't work but other than that most cords will go in here really easily there's kind of two distinct time periods when i would use gaffer tape versus a cord cover for any manned event i will generally just go with the cord cover because it's easier and faster and i can move it if it's a drop-off booth i will pretty much always go with the gaffer tape because it prevents or discourages people at least from trying to move it whereas if you put a cord cover down with a drop-off booth nine times out of ten there will always be somebody there that will pick your booth up and move it at least with the uh, tape that when they pick it up they have to rip the tape up too and that's kind of uh, discouraging to a lot of people so essentially um, drop-off booth I'm gonna use gaffer tape any other situation I'm gonna go with the cord cover uh, the cord cover is also going to be cheaper as well in the long run. This piece right here is a six foot piece, but you can easily cut that down with scissors, a knife, um, any kind of saw. It's just, a, it's just a kind of a heavy duty rubberized plastic. Prefer this as my go-to option. And then I'll kind of use this as needed to secure things down. But again, I'll have some links for this. I would say, I would say to have both the gaffers tape in the three inch version and also a cord cover at least in four feet and we usually care have multiples of them and we use this literally every single event is one of the most useful pieces but one of the most simple pieces of equipment that we have and after we found this it made it so much easier you can move the booth back if you need to you can change the angle you can pick the booth up and spin it around for photos and you won't have to worry about pulling tape up and also as one final note if there is any question of whether um, your, the floor will be messed up, this is not supposed to leave a residue and not supposed to damage a floor, but if there's any question at all of if the floor could be messed up, I will just 
I won't go with the, uh, the tape. I will always go with the cord cover. It can be very, very expensive for venues to have to redo their floors, and it's something that a lot of them are very, very particular about. So if there's any question or the venue owner gives any indication that they're sensitive about their floors, I would not use tape. Uh, again, this has been about our gaffer tape, what it is, when to use it, when not to use it, cord covers, when to use them, when not to use them, and I hope you guys find this helpful. Thanks.